was like a roller coaster ride that there was no end to. We didn't think we were going to make it home. Shaken up, but so happy, some kiss the ground. Relief passengers share their stories after a nightmare at sea. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. We have live pictures for you right now from Chopper 2, where some passengers are still disembarking at this hour. The Royal Caribbean ship docked just before 9 o'clock tonight. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco following the breaking story. She is live in Bayonne for us. Tracy. Maurice and Christine, as you said, people are still getting off the ship right now. They're exiting from that ramp behind me. They got here around 9 o'clock this evening. We spoke with passengers as they immediately got off the ship. Some told us this was the scariest experience of their lives, and they're just happy to be home safely. The Manhattan skyline greeted the 4,500 passengers aboard Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. Passengers cheered from their balconies, grateful to be home safely. Many couldn't get off the battered ship fast enough, even kissing the ground when they got off. Free at last, free at last. We were first in line to get off, what, like four hours ago? The ship left for Port Canaveral, Florida on Saturday, but was forced to turn around Monday after sailing straight into a winter storm. It hit 30 foot waves and hurricane force winds of 100. Miles per hour. Right. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I have to tell you, it was extremely bad. We thought that we were all going to die on the ship. Passengers ordered to stay in their rooms for nearly 12 hours to ride out the storm. They we're stuck in our rooms until then. And when everybody got out in the morning, it was just looking at all the damage that was done. Our rooms broke all the glass. He did kind of comfort us at 3, 5, 7, and 9 p.m., but then he's like, I'm not going to announce anymore to wake you up so you can all sleep. Who's sleeping? How the kids are holding on to their beds. This video taken by a passenger shows the trail of damage left behind on the luxury liner as crews worked overtime to clean up the mess. But many now questioning why the captain sailed into the storm. He did tell us in the beginning that we were going to go into bad weather, but he thought he could get around it. Others, though, praising the ship's crew. I think the captain and the crew did a good job. It was safe, as far as we could see. We didn't know about how bad it was until the next day. Royal Caribbean tonight apologizing, saying they're strengthening their storm avoidance policy. It should never have happened. We're reviewing everything that we did, and uh, we're, we're looking for uh, any possible way that we can improve our processes. Passengers will be getting a full refund as well as 50% off a future cruise. Some still undecided if they'll take Royal Caribbean up on that offer. Are you ever going to go on a cruise again? No, probably not. No, it's too scary. We booked a cruise for next month on Royal Caribbean on the Oasis. Now, some passengers opted to stay on board tonight. They will be getting off the ship tomorrow morning. A team of Coast Guard inspectors will be out here to check out the ship, check out the damage, and make sure that it will be safe enough to sail on its next trip, which will be this Saturday. We're live tonight from Bayonne, New Jersey. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Tracy, thank you. Not everyone got off the ship without incident, though. Chopper 2 captured two people being taken off in handcuffs. Sources tell us they were detained in connection with a controlled dangerous substance investigation. There is no word on what exactly was found.